and uh, of course to the newly inducted uh, officials of the KBP led by Lei Maraunay and to the members of the KBP, and Gabi Isatan, other uh, guests as well. The first thing I did when I came in was uh, uh, to inquire. Okay. I remember the KBP was established during Barcelona and uh, I inquired and uh, in Google uh, and it was in April of 1973 when the KBP was organized uh, 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 Why was it organized in April of Kapisana ng mga broadcasters ng Pilipinas? As you all know, in uh, September of 82, uh, 72, Marcos declared martial law, closed both houses of Congress, uh, imprisoned uh, political opposition, and uh, closed many of the radio stations. And uh, even the schools for about three weeks to four weeks, because I was then a student in San Beda, the schools were closed to ensure that there will be no demonstration. And uh, so they needed, they needed uh, media both print and broadcast to trumpet the objectives of Barcelona, Bagong Lipunan, etc. And uh, I remember uh, then uh, Secretary Kit Tatat, who became Senator. And uh, anyway, uh, the KPP was formed in order to uh, provide for a, uh, a justify, uh, justifiable reason na merong organization that would police its ranks. But certainly, uh, the intention was not really as noble as it was announced then. But then the KBP survived. And uh, Marcelo had, uh, had passed uh, with the uh, EDSA revolution. Uh, and KBP continued uh, to function. But uh, over time, KBP had uh, uh, somehow developed, evolved from its beginning as a ploy to make it appear that there was a group that would uh, police the organization, the broadcasters, the Gibolsia, to become a uh, legitimate organization of broadcasters. And uh, so it's a tribute to the resiliency, to the resiliency of uh, the broadcasters and the leaders of the broadcast industry. Uh, especially after the uh, departure of Marcos in 1986. And now, KBP is much stronger and uh, a lot more credible. So, uh, from its intended purpose, Caron, it has really achieved the objectives that uh, the KBP was uh, ostensibly uh, organized. According to the mention, okay, important kayo sa, uh, especially sa uh, ato mga freedoms and rights. No? Uh, we enjoy these freedoms and rights because uh, uh, well, uh, sacred kini. In fact, I remember my professor in, in constitutional law, the late Justice Isabel Cruz, 
uh, iman siya ang uh, eh, kanang Bill of Rights, we have to memorize that first year po me. We have to memorize that every line, every word, and all of the Bill of Rights, all of the enumerations in the Bill of Rights. So, iya ka lang, ano. And uh, actually, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution did not enumerate Rather than enumerating the rights of the citizens, actually the Bill of Rights contains the limitations of government. Important Instead of recognizing or vesting these rights of the people, the real objective of the Bill of Rights is to provide for the limitations of government to ensure that Dilip must suppress a Bill of Rights. That's why the Bill of Rights always talks of except as provided by law. Okay, to, uh, to emphasize that the people are must be respected. And uh, so the reason of the Bill of Rights is the base for the limitation of government. So it's, it's a bill, not of rights, but rather a bill of limitations against the government to make sure that these rights are enjoyed to the fullest, except when public policy and so on uh, would justify otherwise. So important kayo ang enjoyment of these rights. I remember a lesson sa mga freedom of expression, e mo kinay mo sa sa mga freedoms, na importante kayo. Doon na po ito yung the freedom, the freedom to speak includes the freedom not to speak. So it is not only your right to speak up, but it is also your right not to speak up. And the freedom to listen includes the freedom not to listen. Kanindot kayo ng mga linya, no? And so, Kalis sa Diyos, I was told na ang kagayang Dioro KBP, consistent winner sa entire KBP organization for three consecutive years. So, congratulations, Ray, sa inyong mga kaupan for maintaining the credibility Kay mo man na ang importante kayo. Uh, lugar, uh, wherever we are, whatever we do, uh, importante kayo is ang credibility. And kaya ng mga recognitions are meant to reinforce, to reaffirm uh, the credibility that is being enjoyed or accorded uh, to a either an organization or what. Well, uh, keep it up and uh, uh, of course, dili malikayan na mga transgressions, uh, but uh, of course, nakasabot ako as a public official, uh, that's part of the territory. Nakasabot ako niya na, no? And, uh, I guess uh, one of the virtues that I have learned in public service is to be patient. Uh, and uh, uh, patience indeed is a virtue uh, rather than react uh, negatively. Uh, I remember there was this line in, in uh, one famous line that I came across, the bond of a clear conscience is the one that uh, uh, removes the pain no, from uh, 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 inappropriate and cruel comments. Nabi na nga naanay mga trolls. So, you know, na doon na sa election, 2022. So, grabe na sa ning uh, another round of trolls. No? And now, now, uh, even in the U.S., sa Facebook, etc., people are already talking about uh, 
uh, what should be the limits? Kay di man ingon nga tungod kay na kay freedom, then you can abuse that freedom. All of these freedoms have their limitations. All of them. The freedom is not a license to ruin, especially if the uh, intention is inappropriate or uh, already below the belt. So, mao ka na nga diya mo ko sa troll kay tago and there is difficulty in tracing kung kinsa ang asa na origin muna nga grabe nga po sa grabe nga po sa but then there was a lesson also sa mga trolls and we've seen that no matter how massive these trolls are siguro sa national level ang trolls can work because the people are not quite are not very familiar with the candidates, no. So, a troll could somehow uh, cause some stain, sa acceptability sa some people who may not be uh, that familiar. Uh, pero sa local level, uh, ako ishare ko lang sa inyo. Grabbing a trolls na uh, ako. I was asked. Uh, people suggested that I should respond to those trolls. No, pero sa ako una una, I felt na uh, ano ko ng oras, ano ko ng oras ni tobab ko ang mga trolls, so I let them pass. Pero little did I realize na as these trolls became uh, uh, more uh, cruel, more harmful, people including those I do not even know, would respond to these trolls. And sila na mismo makikaway. Sila na mismo makikaway, no? And lahi nga experience ka na when you are subjected to trolls and you know that there are people who respond immediately to those trolls. But I hope, and precisely mo na ang paan, no? I guess that's one lesson probably that I'd like to share with you tonight. Kay, I mean, you know, if, if these trolls become effective, if these trolls become the norm, I don't know where the broadcasters will go. I don't know. Kay, uh, people will resort to trolls. Kay, ay, effective kini trolls o, bukas to na lang ta. Naabe mga tao na na Maayo mo compose o kwan, not not just stories but even kana mga mga photo kung sa kana photo photo siya, people would appear very odd and sad and abnormal with with these photos ang ilan kita nao so. Ano gon ang kwan ba ang ang integrity of media? Ano gon with all of this? So I hope na na kwan po na ma address po ni sa mga broadcasters because you're the ones that the people listen to. You're the ones that the people are familiar with, and certainly. Uh, as they listen to you, uh, they also uh, form their own opinions uh, uh, of you. Ah, uh, mayo na siya, aka na siya, etc., etc., etc. And uh, uh, over time, that reputation will benefit you or will do harm to you. In the end, in the end, kamurag yugyapon ang mabulahan or conversely, kamura gibiyapon ang mga biktima, no? So it is para gibiyapon, binuhatan na gibiyapon nato. So I hope, I hope na kwan no ang 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 kanabang the the integrity will be enhanced with the passing of time. 
pay separate uh, all of these uh, LGUs, cities, provinces, etc. No, di malikayan people compare notes. Uh, people compare notes, and um, especially there are some people who make observations, and they can they can form their own observations on the basis of what they hear, on the basis of what they see. No, uh, kita sa tapayan, but ikaw uh, nga as what Romy had said uh, to build our our respectability. Taliwala sa grabe ng mga pag-lisod-lisod uh, na naikamot kita. And then, kanoy sa Diyos, uh, uh, mga awards na ito na dawatan, we're unprecedented kini. And uh, we are now, akong siging sulti sa mga empleyado sa City Hall is, let's make winning, uh, being recognized as a habit. Let's make... Uh, uh, achieving excellence as a habit, no? Uh, in whatever we do, uh, let's give our best. Kay ang beneficial niya na ang kapayan o ang katawahan ng yun. As our credibility improves, as our respectability improves, more and more investors will come in. And as more investors will come in, there will be more jobs and there will be uh, uh, an enhancement sa atong uh, purchasing power and so on. Ang, ang ekonomiya will also improve. No? Ang ekonomiya will also improve. Kinipanalitan ang competitiveness. No? Over the last six years, namukna kining competitiveness. Why why did the government and the private sector, kay kuwan man eh, kining sa business club and the government DTI, they have done, embarked on this, uh, where LGUs are being ranked on the basis of certain uh, pillars or certain standards. And these are economic dynamism, infrastructure, and government efficiency. And then beginning last year, Gidugang and Resilience. So these are the standards against which the LGUs, four categories, Mga municipio first to third class, and then municipio uh, fourth to sixth class, and then mga component cities, and then highly urbanized cities. So all of these LGUs are being ranked on the basis of their respective performances in those pillars or standards. Adilitiao, infrastructure, economic dynamism, Resilience and ease of doing business or government efficiency. Dilibia Sayon, as a highly urbanized city, we are competing with all of the highly urbanized cities in the country. And where are these highly urbanized cities? To us, Metro Manila, most of them. Alos Tanan, Tanan ng LGUs in Metro Manila are highly urbanized cities. Now, Sempre ang ilang infrastructure, dinagko na. Ang ilang economic dynamism is very, very vibrant and robust. Kita din eh, historia at ang road opening sa Bukid, sila dito, skyway na ang ilang historiaan, new airport, etc., etc. Pero kalay sa Diyos, ang kakayang di oro, in spite of the huge advantages of the Metro Manila cities in the two areas, ang economic dynamism and infrastructure, Kalay sa Ginoo, ang Kagiyan de Oro consistently has been in the top 10 among all the more, uh, highly urbanized cities for six consecutive years. Kalay sa Diyos, naatas top 10, consistent ha. Now, in fact, the pressure now is how can we sustain it in the coming years? Because we would like, no, kay Grabe Bea dito sa Metro Manila, now, ang consistent sa dito, Manila, Quezon City, Makati, Pasig, uh, Paranaque, etc. No? Pero imagine, katong last competitiveness index, sa top 10, unumra sa Metro Manila nakasulod. Why? Because ang upat, 
gawas sa Metro Manila. Doha sa Visayas, namely Iloilo, number 9, and Bacolod, number 10. And then Doha Port sa Mindanao. So, katong ulong sa Metro Manila, where Quezon City, Manila, Makati, Pasig, Pasay, and Paranaque. Sila ra. All the rest, nabintaan. Kaya wala man sila sa top 10. Sa Mindanao, na yun nakasunod na doon. Kagayaan Davao City and Kagayaan de Oro City. Kala isa Diyos. No? Mayo-mayo, may kayo ng performance. So. And then, Karon, I just uh, received a report uh, sa Gawad Kalasang Awards. Uh, dito ako karon dito sila Dr. Nelly o si Councilor Manu Gaani. Recipient ang J.R. Borja as the finalist in the local government unit hospital sa Gawad Kalasang Katibori. Takot ng function karon sa PICC. As I speak, uh, naghatag ang awards dito. Finalista, no? I hope, I hope na okay, we are one of three finalists, no? So I hope na no, we'll make it uh, uh, at least number three na ta. So ang panja is, uh, I hope na no, we'll be number two or better still, number one. Pero it has not been easy. Dili sa yun. Okay, we are competing with all the others all over the country. So, Kanalan sa child friendly, dili sa iyo. Dagan ng mga rights of children that have to be uh, strictly followed based on the UN standards. Kini upat ka mga fundamental rights of children. The right of survival, the right of protection development, and then the right of protection and the right of participation. So each of these rights, na ay mga uh, again, mga yardsticks, standards that have to be followed. Pugdagan pa ba? So, kalay sa Diyos, maayong lakaw sa dakbayan. And the challenge now is how do we uh, sustain this? Na, uh, dili lang good for six years or nine. Na masustain na to. Masustain na to. Because Kagayan de Oro uh, has, has this duty uh, and I, 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 I maintain that uh, we have the duty of leadership. Okay, as Kakayan de Oro does well, the region benefits from that. And as the region benefits from that, Kakayan de Oro also benefits. So now, the reciprocal uh, relationship between Kakayan de Oro and the rest of the region. Uh, Medically, the term could be a symbiotic relationship between Cagayan de Oro on one hand and the rest of the region. Okay, ang atong journey is how do we make life better for everyone? As much as possible for everyone. Dili lang para sa ato dili, but to everyone, para sa larger community. So, Hopefully, as the region grows, the region will become example for the other regions as well. Karaga, Sambuanga, and Peninsula. Kalo isa Diyos, ang Davao is doing well. Uh, ang, of the six regions of Mindanao, Mayong Lakao, Davao, Northern Mindanao, Soksanjet. And Karaga and the Sambuanga Peninsula are not far behind. Remember, Ang mga provinsya sa Karaga used to be among the poorest uh, provinces in the country 30 years ago. Uh, karon isaka na. Isaka na. One na lang is ang barn. Uh, we hope the peace initiatives of the government will bear fruit. Imagine how progressive Cagayan de Oro and the region would be kung ma-resolve ka ng problema sa extremism. Imagine the contribution of the two Lanao provinces. Lanao del Sur is the longer part of northern Mindanao, but that did not make Lanao del Sur separate from, or, or that did not make uh, Lanao del Sur farther from us. Lanao del Sur still is what it was from the very beginning. And Lanao del Sur used to be part of the old province of Pisapis. 
less than two hours from Cagayan de Oro. So, dako kayo ang tapang niya na as Lanao del Sur benefits, Lanao del Norte also grows, ang magbenefisyo niya na ang entire Region 10. And uh, of course, as the region grows, the, the one that benefits the most is Cagayan de Oro. Kaya din naman ang convergence uh, point. Mao nga, naasan tayo reciprocal duty. The duty to live in terms of providing the fundamentals that are needed for everybody to succeed. Uh, and maling you know, as we as we succeed, so we prosper together. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, we can, during our lifetime, witness Mindanao achieving its promise of fulfillment and growth and prosperity. No longer a land of promise, but a land of fulfillment and a land of sustainable and lasting growth and prosperity. Who will benefit? So I'd like to congratulate the newly inducted officers of KPP. I regret that I cannot stay long. They have engagements that I have to meet. So I want to birthday Christmas gift for you. Merry Christmas to you. Tiga lapu mana orang lapu si Maricel? Kita out si Maricel KBB. Itu, terima kasih kau. Terima kasih. It's an honor to be with you tonight.